Alrighty, ladies and gents, you can see it's a cold. It's, it, I don't know, it's turning into winter too quickly. But anyway, we got Ethan here. We are going to be hitting the vector wrench today, the three inch vector wrench, the Todd Hutchins inspired handle. You've got one of these, haven't you? I do have one of these. It's a brutal handle, isn't it? Yeah. What numbers are you expecting today? Strict from in front. Strict in front. Oh, probably expect around 25. There we go. You can, as you can tell, it's a brutal handle. <laughs> Only 25 kilos have been picked up potentially. I have no idea what my numbers are, but we're going to find out today. I'm in this season of getting ready for England Terzi. Everything needs to be perfect. So we're going to see if I can keep perfect form today and hopefully beat Ethan. I don't know. But anyway, guys, enjoy. Kick it off. <laughs> so 15 kilos here and warm up weight, um, YouTube. Did you see, see Larry gave you a rap? Oh. Yeah, on uh, Jake's live, Jake asked him, who the, if you had to pick a person that impressed you most, and he gave three, uh, and you were one of them, he said, yeah, Ethan, young Ethan, <laughs> for as long as he's been in the, in the sport, he's a killer, he moves really well. <laughs> oh, that's, that, oh, that's good to hear. Yeah, Larry was impressed. Yeah. All right, just one more. <laughs> yeah. It takes discipline, you want to do more, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I think Larry was impressed with your, um, just your, your, your table IQ in the setup, and I think you were scaring the pants off him. I think, yeah. I think you were genuinely terrified of what was going to happen when they said go. Oh, in the straps after that outer straps pull. Yeah. <laughs> you, could, you could see the relief after he caught me inside. Yeah. <laughs> it's just. Oh, when, when I saw you pull outer straps, <laughs> I like came running. I'm like, oh, it's on. He thinks going to beat Larry. <laughs> I thought, here we go. Oh. Alright, 20 kilos now. 20 kilos. So try to try to get. I don't know. Are you? Did you have a bit of slack there? A little, just a touch of slack. A little bit. And then bang it. Good. Yeah. I like that bang for the for a few reasons. I like it for simulating ready go. That kind of unpredictable. You you, you don't exactly know what's going to happen. Um, even though it's we like to load. <laughs> This makes it in that little uncertain, I don't know what it's going to feel like after the initiation happens. And then the other side of it is just the tendon conditioning and the, that this gives that extra sort of plyometric nature to it. <laughs> Congratulating the handle on the loss. <laughs> After I just pinned it. <laughs> That's a habit. Such a habit. I didn't do it. <laughs> 
I didn't even, I didn't even mean to do that. I didn't like it. I wasn't trying to be funny. Either. <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's, it's about this weight that if you flash pin someone, this is this is kind of how they feel. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Just disengage it, get done. Yeah. What, 15, 20. This is this is your 25. 25. This is my predicted. This, this is, is your predicted. Uh, maybe you, you, you maybe I'm feeling look slightly look better than I would thought. Yeah. So. Let's see go. what happens to him first. Starting to feel it in the elbow though. Starting to feel it? <laughs> nice. Seven point five. This is higher than I thought I'd get. So if I get it, I'll be happy. You get it. Look for that last one. Yeah. Hope so. Is this a PR if you get it? Uh, no, I don't think so. Get it, get it, get it. Yeah. <laughs> good, good control. <laughs> good control. There you, you go. Gotta hit it, and then hit to fight it a bit, and then you got it. Starting to say hello. <laughs> that's that tendon conditioning stuff we were talking about. <laughs> uh, I think it's that quick hit, hitting into it rather than just loading in mm -hmm. really highlights that. Yeah, big time, hey. You know, I'm someone who used to always load up on these sorts of lifts and get get around it and then drag, but mm. I like this. I do like this. It's just, it just, it's more similar to a ready go. Mm. In every way. That's just uh, as much. <laughs> yeah, 30 kilos. Uh, well, this, this one sneaks up on you, so if the last one was tricky, I'm not really expecting this, but. Yeah. Uh. Gotcha. Yeah, got me. It's gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. So once we find my failure point, but you want you want one more go at this? I'll do mine, then you have another go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll have one more go at this. Yeah, and then it, it, once we've found our max, then we step it down like twenty percent, and then uh, hit some volume. training this morning but I'm gonna get both sides. <laughs> side of things but so once you initiate brace and and move it with your body leave your hand exactly where it is and just supinate into it like twist your core because that look your wrist look good off the go so that same wrist initiation then twist your core oh, it, just, it, just, it just gets back outside your wrist so close oh, so right. <laughs> Let's see where I get to here, yeah, YouTube. <sighs> I 
35. On the, the goat spinner, I got to 37.5 was my highest successful, and 40 was too sloppy to count. So this I shouldn't go as high as this. This is a harder handle. Goat spin is 2.6 inches. This is three inches. But it's goat, spin, goat spinner has grip. This doesn't have grip. Yeah. You think this is more stable? Just slightly, yeah. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Freaking <tendon. laughs> All right, 30. What are we at? 35. Yeah, yeah, 35. 35. There it is. Oh, wow, it steamrolled me. <laughs> Same thing. It's mental. I can get that. I know I can. That's, that was mental. I didn't. I didn't come with a sustainable aggression. I came with a, just a. <laughs> and then once it defeated me, I was like, oh, okay, I can do it. I can do follow this. through. Come on, follow this. through. Yeah, it's all it takes. Follow through with the aggression in the hand. <laughs> yes! <laughs> one, one more go, one more go. <laughs> oh man, that just gets hard all of a sudden. Yeah. Isn't it? Wow. You you initiate and then it's about here and you're like, yeah, you're like, come on, you can feel the hill. You're just gonna you're just gonna climb over the hill. <laughs> oh wow, okay, so 35 is looking like it. Yeah. It's on. tempting to try to climb up and like go this way and then back down. It's like no, mm. no, no, keep, mm. keep. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, it's so humbling, 35 kilos, you can't pick it up. Uh, one more go, one more go. going any higher. <laughs> I'm definitely not going any higher. All right, but I'm happy with that. 35. All right, now let's go down. You you failed at 30? I failed at 30, so yeah. Let's, let's go down to like 22. Uh, you got it. Say it. You got it. I got it. Happy day. Oh, it's true. <laughs> there you are. It's nice because everything's above the wrist. Mm. The two, there's no connection outside of what, what's in your fingers and what's in your palm. Yeah. Right, we're 22, let's do three sets of three. Three sets of three? <sighs> oh. I'll put it down each time in between. Yeah. Yeah. Goodness. <laughs> Is it hurting you too? I mean, yeah. Oh my goodness, it's hitting that tendon or that ligament or whatever that damn thing is. <laughs> Can I use it? I don't want to bang it. <laughs>
<laughs> what a bang. He went with a down in pressure initiation rather than a side. <laughs> that was more gentle. Alright you guys, there we have it. Um, I feel like you got through that way better than I did. I know I'm hurting. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit too. It feels like just done maybe six ready goes. Like <laughs> that. Yeah, that yeah. feels the same pain as after a comp. It really does. I, I, I was a little bit flared today from doing the session two days ago with the goat spinner. I didn't expect, I thought this was going to be fine, but no, no worries. <laughs> it instantly has brought that back. Um, That'll condition you, won't it? That's the, <laughs> and that's a quick session. That's like 20 minutes. 20 minutes of that, and we've done an incredibly valuable session that you can track very well because the conditions are, are nicely set up. You can replicate them again and again. There's no curling around, no loading. It's just grip and go, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Gets the conditioning right where you need it. Oh, good stuff. Anyway, guys, let us a comment. Uh, let us know what your lifts are on this. Have you got one of these handles? If not, head to penfenarmwrestling.com. Grab yourself a vector wrench. Did I say that right? Yeah, yeah vector yeah. wrench. Inspired by Todd Hutchins. This thing, it's Todd's bread and butter. He has one just like this. I think his is even thicker, though. I think his is three and a half inches. So, the man's an animal. But anyway, see you guys.